we are Project Kratos from Bits Pilani, KK Birla Goa campus, a multidisciplinary team of 50 plus students from various engineering backgrounds. We were established in the year 2018. Our team is divided into six subsystems, namely mechanical, electronics, controls, autonomous and light protection. Being a legacy rover team, we've taken part in multitudes of rover challenges over the years, including the University Rover Challenge held in the USA, the Anatolian Rover Challenge held in Turkey, and the International Rover Challenge held in India. We have access to an in-house mechanical workshop at our university where we do mechanical jobs like CNC, lathe, milling, and taking MIG welding. We also use our university's state-of-the-art fabrication and prototyping lab, which houses a PCB milling machine, a laser cutter, multiple 3D printers, and a plasma cutter as well. For this year's Anatolian Rover Challenge, we are proud to present our new rover, Kratos Mark V. As part of astronaut training, team members will learn how to couple and decouple wheels efficiently, mount and dismount subsystems like the robotic arm, and resolve any mechanical issues that might occur during operation. On the electronic side, they are taught how to assemble and wire all the components on the electronics box, ensuring clean connection, proper layout, and quick identification during troubleshooting. To stay prepared in the field, a complete toolkit is packed in advance. It includes all the necessary tools, spares, and backup components, so any issue can be handled on the spot without delays. Our mechanical subsystem is responsible for creation, research, and development of the rover assembly. This year, our main focus was to enhance the durability and mobility. We use a double lambda rocker bogey suspension with a differential drive mechanism. We have revamped the suspension, making it lighter yet stronger with decreased camber, which has helped us improve the traction over different terrains. Our rover is capable of climbing steep slopes up to 40 degrees and steer with ease. Currently, we are using 3D printed TPU wheels with a honeycomb design, which provides shock absorption and compression. We have introduced a new wheel design and a new coupling mechanism which has improved grip and durability and also provide a terrain specific ride. We have an aluminium T-slot chassis which helped us improve the modularity while being lightweight. Our core rover has a removable electronic box which is completely redesigned to enhance the modularity. To drive the wheel motors, wheel velocities are computed on a Raspberry Pi using a differential drive model and transmitted to Cytron motor drivers via an ESP32 selected for its efficiency and processing capabilities. Each of the six Rhino motors on the wheels is equipped with a magnetic encoder, providing accurate wheel odometry to enhance the rover's control via the Thrustmaster joystick. The two onboard computers, a Raspberry Pi responsible for driving the motors and sensors, and a Jetson AGX Xavier handling the camera feeds, are connected to each other and to the rover's omnidirectional antenna via a network switch to enable communication. To power the rover, we use multiple battery packs tailored to meet different voltage and power requirements. The main drive battery provides 25.2 volts at full charge with a capacity of 25,200 mAh, while the remaining batteries supply 12 volts with varying power outputs. We use power distribution boards to distribute power from the battery packs. New PORF boards and PCBs have been designed and manufactured for the ARM drive and sign subsystems to make the onboard electronics modular and streamlined. The rover uses two kill switches for the arm and drive power lines respectively to provide a means for emergency shutdown of the rover subsystems. Our 5 degree of freedom robotic arm, designed with carbon fiber links and linear actuators, deliver remarkable accuracy task after task. At the base joint, we have integrated planetary gears for stable high torque rotation and for the wrist joint, we have employed a bevel mechanism offering incredibly precise control. We also operate on a linear gripper allowing for more versatile and compact operations. This allows the rover to perform a wide range of complex tasks like pressing buttons, opening latches and drawers, rotating knobs and even removing a standard 3-pin plug. The arm is also capable of lifting loads of up to 7 kilograms. To ensure pinpoint positioning, we have integrated absolute encoders like the AS5600X at the arm joints and an MPU6050 IMU for tracking base and bevel rotations in real time. This joint specific data combined with orientation data is used to build a real time map of the arm's pose in RWIS. Leveraging this feedback, a PI controller drives the arm smoothly along the predefined axis, ensuring accurate and stable motion. With this setup, the end effector can move linearly with high repeatability and the arm can rapidly transition between preset configuration, enhancing the efficiency of task execution. We have developed an innovative live detection assembly from scratch which features a dual lead screw telescoping mechanism that ensures stable extraction while minimizing lateral drift. This mechanism is paired with an auger system for soil collection. The enhanced stability of the bottom plate significantly improves precision during mission tasks. The assembly also features a deposition plate that is actuated using a lead screw mechanism and is supported by a guide rail. 
This ensures accurate placement of collected samples even under high vibration conditions. To prepare the samples for analysis, we have implemented magnetic mixers powered by spur gears, which effectively dilute soil suspensions for reliable testing results. Once prepared, the samples are transferred to Falcon tubes via onboard peristaltic pumps using sterile tubing to maintain contamination-free handling. For secure storage of collected samples, we have designed a cash box which is equipped with servo motors for rapid closure and utilizes magnetic attachments to seal itself. 3D printed funnels direct the soil into sealed containers for testing. The soil solution is then tested for carbonates, proteins and carbohydrates. We also use an AS7265X spectral sensor to detect proteins. The rover uses an FPV camera to capture rock images. The backgrounds of the images are digitally removed and they are then classified by a CNN model trained on our dataset. High-resolution soil images are captured with a digital microscope and manually classified using a Munsell chart. Additionally, this year we have implemented an NPK sensor which measures soil nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium levels, along with the humidity, temperature, electrical conductivity and pH. We've also upgraded to better multi-channel gas and CO2 sensors to monitor atmospheric conditions to assess habitability and potential for life. Communications our rover uses a 5 gigahertz antenna hosting a high gain sector antenna at the base station and an omnidirectional antenna on the rover for control, which has been tested for over 1 km non line of sight. The base station includes a Thrustmaster joystick for the control of the drive and a dual sense 5 joystick to control the arm and science assembly. We use first person view cameras with analog to digital converters for the camera feeds. The camera feeds are handled by the onboard Jetson using hardware encoding, compression and efficient pipelining to enable simultaneous multiple camera feeds without switching. We have the Z2i stereo camera allowing depth perception. The rover is equipped with the Pixar Cube and the Here 3 Plus GPS module. At the heart of the system is the Jetson AGX which serves as the main compute unit. We have implemented a script that error corrects the rover's path, enabling it to navigate from its current coordinates to the goal coordinates with accuracy. We have also upgraded the code stack to ROS2, enhancing performance and communication. Leveraging OpenCV, the rover detects Aruko tags and applies a self-correcting algorithm to guide it between the two tags, ensuring precise positioning. The rover uses depth data from the Z2i stereo camera to detect and avoid obstacles. This allows it to safely navigate narrow spaces like the lava tube. By incorporating IMU data, the rover can accurately measure the length of its path. Lastly, we use point cloud data to build an elevation map of the terrain. This data is used to create a detailed grid map assigning depth values to each grid point for a comprehensive understanding of the rover's environment. As part of our initiative to promote education in robotics, we conduct a four to six week long summer term project where we receive participation from over thousands of students from all over India and from various campuses. We teach various underlying concepts and skills that go into building a rover. And from this very own pool of people, we also select our new team members. We look forward to having an unforgettable experience at Anatolian Rover Challenge 2025.